All right, Nick, let's talk about the Los Angeles Rams. This is a team made a lot of significant changes coming off of the Super Bowl just two short seasons ago, but now they're on the rebuild trying to get their way back, and they think they have found a hidden talent through the draft that might help them be back on their way. Yeah, Myers, I agree with you 100%. This is one of the kind of the sneaky good moves now that we're in mini camps OTAs to see what a new playmaker could add to the Rams. But before we get into that story, LA fans got to ask you a question that you need to answer in the comment section below. Who was the greatest running back in Rams history? This is a really hard question. It's two big names jump out to me personally, but I'm really curious what you guys have to say. So give us the greatest Rams running back. I say Rams could, could be LA, could be St. Louis in team history in the comment section below and make sure you stay tuned to the end of today's video to hear word from our partner today's video and that is neuro they've got a great product that gives you a fast and easy energy boost we love their mints we take them right before the show it gives us the energy to get through and make this content so make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video to hear a word from neuro and to get access to our special discount code all right Miles, what you got what's the latest out of la all right nick we're gonna get into it now the rams have picked up a guy in the fifth round who's already started to show potential to make a big impact on this team that is none other than puka nakua wide receiver from byu let's get into the article right now though uh, it says fifth round pick wide receiver out of byu has caught the eye of some rams veterans puka has done a nice job he's gotten some reps really in all three groups rams quarterback matt stafford said with a smile via the athletic Every time I look up, he's running around somewhere. Fellow wide receiver Van Jefferson has noticed Nakua as well. He's come in and take ownership of the playbook and tried to learn the best he can. Jefferson said, you can see how it translates on the field. And he's had a great two days that he's been out here. So Nick, fifth round guy, maybe, you know, people like, ah, oh, well, he might make the roster, might not. But it seems like Nakua, by all accounts, has really been putting in the work and has made a noticeable impression on two key players here, Nick. That's Matt Stafford, the starting quarterback of the Rams. So if he makes an impression on him, that bodes well for him in the future. Uh, and Van Jefferson, another highly touted wide receiver in this room. So I think he's started off really well to make impressions on both of those players, Nick. But this guy has a lot of talent coming out of Wash or coming into Washington rather first. Uh, he was a big time, he was a four-star recruit coming out of high school. Went to Washington for two seasons, transferred to BYU. Uh, he was very, very productive at BYU as well. Uh, he ended up last season in 2022, 89.8 PFF grade. So very good, yeah. high contested catch rate. So this guy has a lot of tools, six foot two, 201 pounds, uh, that could really translate very well to NFL. So I'm excited to see how it goes forward here, Nick. But just starting off, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Nakua? And what do you think about his early impressions on some of the key Rams? Yeah, so I think this is a guy in Nakua who is a perfect scheme fit in terms of what he can bring to the table, in terms of what the Rams have to do. And if you don't believe me, go to the Lance Sirline, uh draft report of Nakua over at NFL.com. I'll, I'll read you two key bullets here and tell me this doesn't sound like a guy who will fit exactly into a number three, number four role for the wide receiver of, of the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, here we go. Battered defense, this is two big bullets here, battered defenses as a jet sweep option. We know the Rams under McVay, they do those motion jet sweeps. They've used Cooper Cup that way a lot. They obviously want to probably go away from that a little bit, right? You know, less wear and tear, trying to avoid injuries. Here's a guy who made a living at these jet sweep motions in college. He's a guy who will slide into that role absolutely perfectly for the Los Angeles Rams. And here's number two that I think is really awesome. Basketball background on display when making contested catches and gains late catch, late catch space with physicality, physicality and hand fighting. What that means there is this is a guy who can win 50-50 balls down the field, and that's a big element to the Rams offense that was missing last season. We talked about Andrew McCutcheon, the young guy they added last year. We thought there was a chance he could fill in that role. He really couldn't do a good job in that role. Maybe he will this year. We'll, ha we'll have to wait and see. But we got a guy in Nakua here who has the ability to win those 50-50 balls, has that basketball background. And I look at him to fill into this Rams role as probably their number four wide receiver behind Skoranek. And, of course, you have Jefferson at Cup at one and two, respectively. I'm sorry, two and one, respectively. And that just is a really good position for this guy to be in because he can just do those little things. He can do the Jets sweeps he can have a few 50 50 balls and fill a really important role in this rams offense because this is a talented rams offense but they are really top heavy they need guys to step up kind of that middle tier and playmakers and the is a guy in my opinion who has a chance to really fill into that role yeah nick i think you hit the nail on the head here because i want to touch on one key point you brought up and that's the jet sweep role at byu 
Uh, Nakua got 350 plus rushing yards on such touches at BYU. He's incredibly successful in that jet motion, jet sweep ability. So I think that's going to be a big part of where they see using this guy. And also, they talk about him being a relentless blocker as well. So if they fake the jet sweep, he can come around the edge, maybe, you know, take someone's lunch from them. But this guy seems like a great scheme fit. Uh, right size, the Rams seem to have a size. All of their wide receivers starting right now are six one plus. So this just seems like a really good pickup and a guy that can fit right into this Ram scheme. All right, Miles, we would like to give a special thanks to our partner today's video, Neuro. That's right, Nick. And I want you to go with me on a journey really fast. I want you to imagine this. It's fourth and goal in the big game, Nick. Your team is relying on you to make the big time game winning play. I know you've been in this situation before, Nick. The stadium is roaring. The clock is ticking. The game is on the line. But if only in that moment you were able to have some neuro gum, neuro gum will help you stay concentrated and it gives you a burst of energy without a nasty crash. That's right, Mize. Neuro has thoughtfully curated ingredients and does endless, endless lab testing, which means that you can reach the right state of mind safely and consistently. That's the most important part. It gives you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or any of those other energy drinks. That's right, Nick. And if you click our sponsor link in the description below, you can enjoy energy, calm, and focus whenever you need it.